Moms of Reddit, what's something you know about your kids that they don't think you know about them? My 3 year old daughter doesn't understand whispering to herself isn't the same as thinking in your head. She loves to call people idiots to herself and giggle not knowing we can all actually hear her. When our family plays go fish with our 5 year old and one of us asks another player for a card, he snickers if he has the card, every time. Since Christmas my almost 6 year old daughter has been leaving stones from the garden in front of my bedroom door, she's been telling me it's the stone fairy. That's her way of telling you she knows that you're the tooth fairy. The plot thickens, the cluck chickens, the Charles Dickens, the witch wickens. Three year old thinks we don't know when she's pooping. She has a habit of going under the dining table while we're eating, squatting and making grunting noises. She then insists on total privacy so she can whisper loudly in my ear that she has pooped. Total secret from everyone. Wait what? She shits under the table. Diapers probably. Hopefully. My 19 year old son thinks I don't know he smokes pot. Child please, you cannot fool the master. My parents actually found my stash and smoked it without telling me. 911, my parents stole my weed. In the distance, Bob Marley music. Buffalo soldier intensifies. Alright what seemed to be the problem man. My 3 year old son wipes his boogers on the walls. He denies it's him. I've seen him do it. Son, wiping boogers on the wall. You, I can see you. Son, my movement is so slow that it's imperceptible. You, how long have you been there? Son, an hour. I'm a dad. Thanks to our next cam I know that for the last year my 4 year old daughter lists the people she loves as she falls asleep. I love my daddy. I love my mama. I love my grammy and grampy. Etc. Sweetest thing ever and I have about 150 of the clips saved. My son doesn't eat the sandwiches I make him for lunch at school. He just throws them away and eats the chips and cookie. Whenever our son one and a half years old isn't allowed to touch something we firmly say no. He usually tests us out a bit by very slowly moving his hand towards said item while looking at our face and waiting for the exact moment we say no. This is how he tests us and incredibly funny and kind of tough to keep a straight face. He now figured out a way to circumvent the system. He looks the other way while slowly moving his hand towards said item. Surely if he can't see us, we can't see him right. Well, we are on to him. Edit. No he is not a cat. We have a cat and trust me, that cat is a lot smarter. I set alarms for the morning on the Amazon Echo. When I leave the room my daughter cancels them and I hear her snicker no school tomorrow haha. What she doesn't realize is I also have an alarm clock and my phone. She's 5. I was over at a friend's place and set around 20 alarms for the next day. Here's your reminder. Don't shake the baby. Here's your reminder. Don't beat the kids. Here's your reminder. Okay, maybe beat them just a little. My daughter is 8. I know immediately when someone is bullying her because she comes home angry and sad. It's always directed at me. I'll let her teacher you know. Just to keep an eye on it. And it hug my little one tight and wait for her to tell me about it. I can hear my 4 year old son walking down the hall when he's supposed to be in bed because he walks like a dinosaur. He's opened the door. He's gotten on the floor. That means everybody can walk the dinosaur. Boom boom shakalaka laka boom. It was a night like this 4 million years ago. Dad here. My 3 year old daughter sneaks part of any candy she can and hides it under her pillow for bedtime so she can snack on it if she wakes up at night. It was adorable until it was foil wrapped chocolates around Christmas and they melted for us to find a couple mornings later. My daughter used to do this, eat a cookie and ask for another. I found hundreds of cookies scurled around various drawers and inside toys and under her bed. She must have died in the Great Depression in a past life or something. Maybe your daughter is secretly a squirrel. When I was in 6th or 7th grade I pulled a muscle from beating the meat too much. Had to go to the doctor and I thought I got away with it by telling the doctor I fell. Fast forward a few years and I was telling this story to a friend only then did I realize my parents knew exactly what it was and they joked about it for years and I didn't catch on. Also it happened on a laptop the school provided so that week I had to take it to the IT guy for a Trojan virus. When I got the computer back I saw that I didn't clear the history too. Not only did my parents know but I'm sure my teachers knew too. 
I have a 3 year old and every morning she comes into my room and crawls in bed with me for another 30 minutes before we get up. She has started doing this new thing where when I fall back asleep she will kiss my cheek and tell me how much she loves me. It's a small thing but I love that she does this even though she thinks I'm asleep. There are a lot of hard things about being a parent and having to wake up early with a toddler but her sweet little voice telling me I love you so much mommy makes it all worth it. Also, sometimes she will bring me a stuffed animal to cuddle with too. That's the cutest thing I ever heard. I'm in class and wanna squeal. And I'm an 18 year old dude. I don't have a kid but when I was growing up my dad's house had a hole in the hallway wall that was well above our heads but we could still reach it enough to throw stuff in it, so that's where we hid candy wrappers bad school papers etc. He never said anything to us about our secret hiding spot so we always assumed our secrets were dropping under the house and were gone forever. He eventually went to patch it up and before he did he said I want to show you guys something and lifted us up to peer into our hole of sin while laughing hysterically. It wasn't even a foot deep. There was a cross beam right under it that we couldn't see so everything we were tossing in was extremely visible from adult height. I love the image of him finding the first bad report card there and then thinking, you know what, let's see how this plays out. The one my dad hit me with once I graduated was, we know you weren't at K's for a movie and sleepover. I asked him how he knew, what movie theater do you go to where they dump vodka on you? I know his hiding spot for hide and seek, I know exactly where he is, hell I can see him, behind the stroller isn't the greatest cover, I can hear him too as he answers my exaggerated are you behind the couch with no, but I'll still look for him everywhere until he creeps out and shouts boo, so I can gasp and be ever so surprised. Christ, we have one of those fridge cameras. I was at the grocery store and I checked the cameras I often do. There was my son closing his ding dong in the fridge repeatedly. I must have been pretty horrified as I couldn't help but watch him just to try and figure out what he was doing. Is this some new age masturbation technique? Be right back, gotta run to the fridge. I'm not a parent but I started smoking weed when I was 13. Then at a family gathering when I was about 21 the subject of weed came up somehow. In the middle of the conversation my mom turns to me saying, Ask him I'm sure he knows all about it. He's been smoking it since he was 13. I had never been caught smoking or having it. She just knew. When I asked how she knew she just said, Do you think I'm stupid? When my 9 year old is in the shower forever, I know it's because she's trying to hide the fact that she's crying because she misses her dad. It's been almost 3 months since he died and she's still getting used to the fact that he's gone. When learning a new word our 18 month old runs into the kitchen away from us so we can't see him and practices sounding out the word thinking that we can't hear him. Then he comes back into the family room to deliver the final product. Have a daughter in college. Her first summer back home I went to wash all of her clothes she brought back. As a college girl it was at least 4 loads. As I sorted her clothes before washing them out tumbled 4 bud plugs wrapped in a bag. They were huge. Like. Huge. So I carefully wrapped them back up and slid them back into her things. When we were in university and ongoing joke was to slide a butt plug into the bag of one of our circle of friends. The same butt plug cycled between us 4 years. Whenever my barely 4 year old makes a mess, like spills her juice, she blames my 8 year old. Even if she's not here, like daddy it was Sophie, she came home and spilled it then she left again, and acts shocked lol. I wonder if my mom knows that when I'm in the bathroom for a long time with the music on I'm literally just dancing. My worst fear is to have her think I'm masturbating. Whenever my 5 year old daughter is making me a surprise, 9 times out of 10 it's going to be a cut out heart with I love you mama written in it, if I guess what it is before she delivers it she gets pissed. 1 out of 10 times it's a drawing of poop with I love poop written under it, because we like bathroom humor in my house. My little brother used to eat candy when he wasn't supposed to when he was little, so to hide the evidence he would shove the wrappers in his ear instead of the trash so my parents wouldn't see them. They would see them sticking out of his ear and would have to pull them out with tweezers. Once there were 4 or 5 wrappers in both ears. Reality is stranger than fiction. Well you can't make this shit up. He knows pockets exist right. Here's other pockets nature gave you lol. Those tissues. You ain't got no cold son. You have been visited by Dr. Doggo. Like this video and subscribe to stay healthy.